100 mile ride, woo! Oh, guys, I was way out there a lot longer than I should have. First of all, it was ridiculously hot out there. It was like in the 90s, but thank God this afternoon it was overcast. But my day started at, uh, I hit the road at 4.15 and uh, was doing great. Um, it was obviously real dark, no one was really on the road. Uh, I thought I'd get a great head start and several miles into my ride, I realized my Debrim visor uh, flew off and I guess I didn't see it flew off because it was so dark and I thought, ah, oh, shoot. So I was gonna go back and switch if I couldn't find it. Uh, I ended up backtracking after the sun came up and then I, I kept going. I bumped into another elliptical rider who has the uh, 8S uh, in blue also, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, he's been uh, riding for three years. So I kept riding and around uh, 40, I don't know, 41 miles um, or 43 miles, somewhere around there, I got a flat and I thought, oh no, we're flat, the worst. And uh, I haven't had any problems to date with my marathon tire. And so I used a CO2 cartridge and then I noticed my uh, tire was really wobbly and I'm gonna have to check out my tire now. Uh, so. Uh, try to call a bike shop place that I, I knew that uh, sells elliptigos. Guy couldn't come and get me. If he did, it was a lot of money. And I uh, thought I was going to try and get a lift over there. And for some reason, I just was having trouble with uh, getting that tire back on and, and lining it upright and uh, trying to avoid any pinch flats. So finally, I thought I got it right. And I started heading back. And I'm like, hey, I'm going great. And and uh, so it was like around 80 miles and I stopped and actually on the way back I had a lady ask me if uh, the elliptical runs on gas. I thought that was hilarious and I said, gas, that's for wussies. So I stopped to talk to several people about the elliptigo for a little bit while I was uh, taking a break and uh, man, I'm so thankful that the sun was hidden because I, I wouldn't have probably been able to finish. It was just way too hot. Uh, so uh, I get to about 91 miles, sure enough, another flat, and I said, oh, I have only nine miles to go. So I started changing the tire, and uh, the uh, tube, um, uh, I was trying to patch the tube, uh, it didn't work, and luckily I saved the other tube uh, that already had a hole, I knew where it was, so I patched that, and it worked, it got me done. Uh, I don't know what the problem is, but it made it for a very long day. I probably took that tire off probably four to five times, and uh, I felt my hands at that 91-mile uh, mark uh, where it was literally shaking. So uh, I'm so thrilled that I got it done. I didn't think I was going to do another 100-mile ride, and uh, uh, I am wiped out. So anyway, all you guys that... Uh, do these really, really long rides, uh, kudos to you. Uh, you've got to have nice cooler weather because this heat is, there's no way, it's too brutal. So anyway, one thing I just want to suggest, actually a couple things, if you're going riding, a couple things, you want to have what they call grease monkey wipes, I'll put a link, they come in packages. So when you're changing your chain and you got your hands all greasy, you can just wipe your fingers and it gets the grease right off. And then also make sure to have at least two tubes. So should you have any issues, at least you have a backup. And uh, I'm so thankful that I had two tubes. And it's amazing. I had a patch and it got me through the last nine miles. I was praying. So anyway, we'll see you on the road real soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go Elliptigo.